I'm Reese Stein at your leisure in the High Uintas, where we've stumbled across one of these primitive Mongol structures known as yurts. And boy, they've really taken the cold and primitive out of winter camping. A yurt is a large round tent with a pointy dome. A few years back, we ran into Ellen and her friends enjoying the luxury of one of Utah's first yurts in the High Uintas. The yurt is just a fantastic facility. We even have flowers on the table. We're up here for a weekend at the yurt. We're having cheese fondue tonight because that's a traditional European warming hut meal and chili and soup and we're just out for a good time. <laughs> Yurts likely first popped up on the Central Asian steppe thousands of years ago. Maybe the first one in Utah was at Snow Canyon, a set piece for the 1956 movie The Conqueror with John Wayne as Genghis Khan. In recent years, they've become the go-to getaway around the country. In Utah, you can rent yurts at four state parks, including East Canyon and Rockport in the north. It's awesome because I don't have to pack up all the tents or as many blankets and the tarps and everything. With little kids, it's easy to just come and you put down your blankets or maybe one sleeping bag per person and you have room to put a porta crib and the kids can be comfortable. And Dead Horse Point and Goblin Valley in southern Utah. Well, camping in the yurt may not even be classified as camping. We're sitting by my favorite part of the yurt, which is the stove. And you can go to bed and be warm and wake up and be warm. and. That kind of makes it perfect for me. There are a dozen other yurts available for rent in the Utah mountains, including the Big Water Yurt up Mill Creek Canyon. Some come fully equipped. They provide sleeping bags, you just bring your own liners up, and all the cooking and wear and utensils are all provided as well. And plus they have firewood, a wood-burning stove for heat, and they provide propane and a propane stove for cooking. Really roughing it. Really roughing it. <laughs> Some of the toughest camping I've had. <laughs> This yurt has plenty of pre-cut firewood for keeping the place toasty warm through the long winter night. And while many have propane stoves inside, the Goblin Valley yurt features outdoor cooking. And while this yurt does have a nearby water source, at others you may have to trek to the nearest stream and boil your water. You'll have to bring your own food, but that's likely the best part of the outing. Yurts make a great base camp for exploring the Utah outback on snowshoes or cross-country skis. You'll always have the welcoming comfort of the yurt to come back to. They're open year-round for rental, but where they see their most use is throughout the wintertime. And that's, that's really a unique experience because you can snowmobile to two of the yurts, you can cross-country ski or snowshoe. Most people snowmobile to a point and then get off and ski or snowshoe the last mile into the, into the yurt. The large 20-foot yurts have built-in bunks that sleep up to eight. Some come with pads and sleeping bags, while others require that you bring your own gear. Either way, it's a deluxe winter glamping experience. Restein at your leisure in the Utah Outback.